Okay, so let's see uh, what we can do for this one question. Uh, Marianne S., one of my subscribers, asked the question. She asked several questions, but one was, what's in store for the Ukraine separately? What is in store for the Ukraine separately? Now, this question was asked about 13 days ago. And I couldn't remember, I know that she had asked some questions and I couldn't remember where, which video it was she was responding to. And it took me this long to figure out where uh, Marianne's uh, questions were. So I'm sorry about that, Marianne. But um, yeah, what is in store for Ukraine separately? That's uh, the question here. So let's see. Oh, but before we do that, let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay, what is in store for the Ukraine separately? This will be a full Celtic cross. What is in store for the Ukraine separately? I don't know exactly what you mean by separately, uh, Marianne S., but um, what is in store for the Ukraine? I'll put that in there and hopefully uh, we'll get an answer that uh, satisfies you. Okay. All right, so six cards to begin with. One, two, three four, five, and six. I have to remember to look up the camera more. I noticed um, it wasn't something I was doing. Okay, so what is in store for the Ukraine separately? This will be the first six cards of a full Celtic cross. And the signifier then is going to be the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. Interesting for this to be a signifier. So the Queen of Swords, Swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. The Queen is not quite the king issue. I mean, it's a it's a lot of responsibility. It's a lot of authority. Um, so this is, you know, a significant amount of authority that uh, the signifier card uh, represents here. And I think that is the Ukraine. Challenge to that then is temperance, finding a balance. Okay, so being able to say um, we have to find the balance between this and that. This uh, figure of temperance is has one foot on the on the land and one foot in the water. And so the challenge, and maybe that's perhaps why this um, isn't a king, is because they're having to try to find that balance. Look at this. As a matter of fact, it's interesting that I should mention that because in this card is a is a kingly crown, right there. Interesting. So. The base of this whole reading then, ah, wands, long-term plans. Uh, wands are plans, forward movement, uh, actions. And so the three of wands for me is long-term planning. And we can see this person is standing with all three of these uh, plans firmly planted in the ground. The past of this reading, ah, is kind of what's happening now. These are uh, actions, plans, motions, uh, intrusions. These, uh, This eight of wands represents a lot of stuff happening right now at the same time. Almost like missiles, don't they, coming down onto the ground. At the top of this reading, then, is this Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups talks about with these three cups that are spilled here, uh, you know, what's been lost. But you, you have to remember, turn around and look at what's behind you. There's two full cups behind you. You can walk right over that bridge into something more prosperous. So the, the top of this reading, um, I think, is just reminding us, um, remember what you've still got. In the past of this reading, or sorry, the likely outcome of this reading is the devil. This is sad because this is tied to lesser intentions. So there is some element here that is going to be significant. And what happens that brings the conclusion of this to uh, right to the feet of lesser intentions. So let's see if the last four cards help us uh, figure out a little bit better what um, is in store for Ukraine separately. Interesting. So the... Uh, self of that question, what's in store for Ukraine separately, is this page of swords. Again, swords being truth, justice, rules, and law. Then the page being the very least powerful of the royal court. So this is almost a message of, of, of those things. Uh, the page brings us to the court and says, hey, uh, here, here's this message of truth, justice, rules, law. Now what are you going to do with it? The environment that that's in, however, with strength. Okay, so this message comes to the court of truth, justice, rules, law, with a nice, big, strong element of strength. Okay? Then the hopes and the fears for all of that. Well, this is the four of wands again. Wands being plans, actions. These are the four of wands of celebrations, and I'd like to say, say that this, these are celebrations, smaller celebrations, on towards something uh, larger. Okay? 
And then the final outcome, what is in store for the Ukraine separately? Look at this. Now this uh, Queen of Swords became the King of Pentacles. Very fruitful, very much in charge. So it looks like the Ukraine eventually is going to come out the other side of this. So just to read that one more time. The um, signifier of the card of this reading was the Queen of Swords, really a very strong um, example of uh, you know all the goodness that that sword represents. It's challenged by finding some sort of a balance, temperance, which is interesting that we've got a kingly crown uh, in this card of temperance right here. Uh, the base of the whole reading were these uh, long-term plans, which uh, could in fact be the Ukraine's long-term plans to stand alone. Uh, the past in this reading uh, talks to us about uh, all the actions that are happening at a rapid pace. And then in the sky of this reading, with this Five of Cups, is, look, a lot's going to be lost, but there'll be something left to rebuild and to cross that bridge with. And then the uh, likely outcome of the first part of this is this, uh, this huge uh, foreboding card of lesser intentions. And so I think this is going to be the stall that Russia causes uh, before this becomes uh, um, clarified. But then we say, what's the self of that very question? What is in store for Ukraine separately? And the store for Ukraine separately, it comes to us with this page of swords, a messenger of truth, and it's backed up by this uh, example of strength. Okay. Then the um, hopes and the fears for that with this um, Four of Wands uh, is a celebration, small celebration towards something larger. And eventually, the outcome overall is that Ukraine is the king of its whole value, king of pentacles. That's perfect. You really make a big difference. Thank you.